Jeff Passan is reporting that Steven Strasburg has signed a seven-year, $245 million deal with the Washington Nationals. So they retain Steven Strasburg. Now, you do the math on that, seven and 245, $35 million a year. $35 million a year. He's 31 years old. Garrett Cole's 29 years old. And although Strasburg had an unbelievable postseason, Garrett Cole's a better pitcher. What is Garrett Cole going to make? And although we keep hearing the Yankees are all in, that Hal Steinbrenner has given Brian Cashman the go-ahead to make a huge offer, when does it go from huge to irresponsible? Do you want a seven-year, $280 million deal where it would be $40 million a year? Is that what you want to do? Do you think that that's worth it? But I'm telling you, if Strasburg's making 35, you know at least. So that, that shatters the record for most average annual value, which at this point is Zach Greinke, who makes 34 and a half. But that's all down the line, so it's not worth that in today's dollars. The most money in today's dollars is Verlander at 33 million a year. Usually the Nationals do defer money, so maybe this is not 35 million in today's dollars. But I don't think Cole is gonna take deferred dollars. I think Cole's market right now, Don and Peter, it's set at about 37 and a half. And huh. it might become a passion play. The Angels, the Dodgers, and the Yankees all want him. He's a West Coast kid in L.A. and in Anaheim. He's got to deal with California tax. New York tax isn't exactly Texas either. So there's going to be a big number that gets but this guy. And you're right. When does it become irresponsible? And also, when? how often does it work? I mean, I'm looking at the top contracts for pitchers, the top 10 highest paid contracts to pitchers. First one is David Price, right? That's, that's where we're setting it. Well, they won but a World Series. They did win a World Series, but they didn't win it in with led by Price. Now, he was good. He was really he, good, he was, But you can't really say that that contract, $217 million, worked. No, no it's, it, right? they didn't get but, but, top value. But count them up. One championship. Clayton Kershaw, no championships. But that money's worth it. Max Scherzer, but 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 worth but, it. But I'm looking at it from the Yankees' perspective. The Yankees aren't looking for Cy Youngs. The Yankees aren't looking True. for perfect games and no hitters. They're signing him to win a championship. Okay. So I think you have to grade it on that level. All right, Scherzer, worth championship. It. All right, and Cy Youngs, Granky, no championship. Not worth it. All right, Verlander, no championship because he signed the contract in in Detroit. He didn't win a championship in Detroit with the Tigers. Now he was great and he pitched no hitters, but he didn't win a championship. But in that contract, dollars. he did win. In, in 2017 with the Astros. Right, but that's the Astros. The ti do, yeah. do the Tigers think that that's worth it? They may, but they haven't won a championship since 84, all right? Felix Hernandez didn't win in Seattle, all right? Sabathia won one title with the Yankees. Lester won one title with the Cubs. Tanaka, no championships with the Yankees, all right? Cole Hamels, no championships with the Phillies. So those are the top ten. All right, so how many championships did we count? Three, and just one for each. So some of those teams may be very happy with the contract that they signed. They, you could say they worked from the standpoint of Cy Youngs and no hitters and how well they pitched. But the Yankees are graded on a different level. They are getting Cole for one reason, and that's to win a championship. It'll be like Alex Rodriguez, Michael. If he goes out there and pitches, he goes 20 and one and wins the Cy Young, but he loses his first playoff game and they get bounced in in in, in the league championship series. And they don't win a championship with him? Are the Yankee fans going to look at that as a good contract?